Read, listen, watch. To keep writing. About a year ago, a text came to me that felt like a good opening for a new script. It would then be the third story about Algot, who is also called Beatrice, and who I have already written about in Rockrose Resort and in the upcoming book The Beetle and the Tree. I had an idea that Algot and his friend Mona should be allowed to meet again after they left Rockrose Resort. Or rather, they demanded it from me. I would like to have an overarching idea about a script, something that transcends the plot itself. We can call it shape. I wrote the beetle in the tree with an idea in the back of my mind about a presence in absence. For the third part in the series, an idea about expectations and disappointments came to me, which can now serve as a theme for the external form of the script. So I had an introduction that felt good, I had the plot ready for me in broad strokes and I had a pre-idea. Also, it would be about characters I already knew. Still, it stopped. I had to put the project aside to devote myself to other things instead. It was only a few days ago that it suddenly got going again and I was able to continue writing on the script. A good idea can turn into a lousy result if you are not careful. I would like to call it caring about one's text and one's idea, not neglecting it. On the other hand, you have to write for it to become something. Write, write, write. Is a common call to anyone who wants to get started. Yes, you can do that. But in this case, it didn't work. It was like I had to wait for the right opportunity. And anyone who writes themselves knows how strange this is, once it flows. Where does it come from? Why do I suddenly know what is going to happen, or rather, what is it in me that invents what I write down? I believe that creation is usually an intuitive, more than an intellectual act. I don't sit and think out the plot bit by bit, the plot happens on the paper while I write it down. It is all very strange. Matthias Cook is an author and illustrator.